Hello everyone and welcome to the first video blog. Um, the reason I'm doing a video blog today as opposed to just my standard written one is that I want to take you through some workload analysis and it's a lot easier to show rather than to just tell. So I've had a lot of questions in some of the talks and stuff that I've been doing um, regarding how to get a health check on your server or how to troubleshoot when you're having specific problems during specific windows. And luckily enough, Microsoft provide us with some free tools to do this. Uh, today I'll be taking you through a tool called SQL Nexus and I'll be showing you how to populate it with some useful data. So step one is a tool called PSS Diag and the links to all these tools are in the text portion of the blog. I'm not going to go too in depth into this and um, it comes with standard templates when you open it up you get general performance and that's all I'm interested in. Um, if you have anything else yourself that you want to go through you have a custom diagnostics window you can able, you control your profiler trace here and all your perfmon counts are here so I'll, I'll leave you guys to figure that one out um, what I want to take you through is how to set it up what to do with it and how to get the data into SQL Nexus so machine name in my case is just dot it's local instance name you can either specify or if you leave it as a star it'll pull data from every instance on your machine you then pick your architecture in my case it's 64 bit and save I'm going to leave it in the default directories, but you can name it or call it or put it wherever you want. Hit OK. 2008 or 2. And away we go. So if I down here, I can see it's created my pssd.cab. Now I have WinRAR on here, but Windows natively can open these up and extract these as well. So I've put this on the desktop. I'm looking for a PSS diag. Uh, it's just a Windows command script. Uh, when I kick that off, I get this window here. And the reason I started it off is that it takes a couple of seconds to start up, and I didn't want to put you through the torture of having to watch that. So if everything is OK, you get this. SQL Diag collection started. Press Control and C to stop. So let that run in the background for as long as you want. Um, if it's just to see how things are in general, leave it running for an hour or two. If you want to get a specific performance window, let it run during the time you're seeing the problems and it'll give you data back. Uh, it runs completely unattended and you can just stop it whenever you feel like it. So I'm going to stop this one now. <clears throat> I'll let that stop in the background because I've cheated and blue petered it a little bit and I have one that I prepared earlier. But if you're looking for your file, wherever you extracted the cab to, in my case it's a folder on the desktop, it creates a new folder called output and this is going to contain all of the data that it has collected when, since it ran. So in my case I have my output folder here on the desktop. I'm going to close this down and I'm going to open up SQL Nexus. SQL Nexus always looks like this when you open it up first just a nice little welcome screen and small little help file. The things we care about are our database. Where are we going to store all this information once it's imported. You can create a new one right from Nexus. In my case I already have one called Video Test because I'm very unique and creative. Now you want to import the data. <coughs> Down here you can see you have your little import button. Your source path is the folder that contains the data. It's not a specific file, it's the folder that contains everything. SQL Nexus will know what to do with all of the output. So I run my import and I get this window first one is pulling in the trace and then it starts to go through all of the startup shutdowns all your perfmon logs it shouldn't take too long there we go and when it's done this window doesn't disappear but you can just scroll down and you'll see everything says done now I close that and we're back to here I've got my list of reports over here um, I'll take you through them quickly, but you'll have to go through them in some detail yourselves. I have blocking and wait statistics on my server. I was lucky, I have no blocking, which means I have no obvious problems, but it will tell you all of the wait statistics that were occurring during the time that you grabbed that trace. We have bottleneck analysis. Again, I have no problems here, thankfully, but if you do have problems, it does show up and it will tell you down the bottom of the report what queries were causing what problems. In my case, everything is smooth. Yes, it was waiting, but it got everything back in a timely fashion, so no big deal. 
and you've real-time server status doesn't work you then come down to your 2005 performance stats because that's what I actually grabbed the trace from even though I had said 2008 on my local machine here again a list of reports I won't go through them in detail I'll let you do that and then the last one is your read trace main and this goes through your SQL profiler trace and gives you some very very valuable information back so here I have batches started, batches completed, attentions, duration, CPU, reads, writes. In a big mass like that, it might not tell you much, but if you hit view details, it then gives you an extremely good breakdown of what was going on and when. And they're split up in 10 second intervals. So in my case, I might have disk problems. So I want to see what was doing all the reading at the time. So I sort by reads, and I go down to the bottom, and I can see, okay, I've got some big ones down here. So this guy I want to look at. I drill into the time, it'll tell me what was doing what again. You've got your CPU, duration, reads, and writes. Well, I'm hunting reads, so I click on this guy, and it takes me down to him. What query was running at what time? Excellent. I drill in sample batch details and it tells me exactly what was going on at the time so again there's so much more that you can do in this and I'm not going to cover it in here um, I am however going to link to a pretty in-depth tutorial SQL Nexus but again I just wanted to get you guys started on getting the data into your into SQL Nexus how to grab the data what's important what's not and just give you a kickstart into seeing how your SQL server is doing so I hope this was useful for you. Um, as always, any questions, let me know and leave any comments. And if there's anything else I can do or explain, never hesitate to contact me. Thanks very much.